Donations of Team Synchronous at Baylor University Game Studios. Just going to give you a quick rundown of the abilities we've got and how things are working so far. Got a little simple UI for the different classes. I'm just going to add one of them in at a time. And here's what we got. We've got a rocket bot, a repair bot, a hammer bot, and a sniper bot. Um, they each have their own stats and long, different ranges, so I can click on the different units and we can see all the different stats displayed as far as what they can do. Um, and all the different abilities we've got are the sniper bot being capable of dealing a light amount of damage at long range. The hammer bot can deal heavy damage at short range, so he actually deals three damage rather than one. Um, the repair bot is able to moderately heal an allied unit at moderate range. Um, so you can heal, I believe, yeah, it's two. And then I can select the rocket bot, and he actually deals an area of effect damage, um, which we display. And he deals only one damage to the entire area because it hits so many different units. Um, key thing, however, is the fact that they can all have link effects. So the rocket bot is able to add a sort of gravity well effect. Um, it's basically a pull effect, so we may be revising the name. Um, but he can pull people into a specific location. Or, or rather, if he links to somebody, then um, it'll link to the source location of the skill, whether that's a spot on the field or the unit that casted the skill. Um, the repair bot, uh, his link ability is a knockback effect. So it's the exact opposite of the pull. It's just a push. Uh, so we can hit people farther, uh, knock them back farther away. The rocket, or sorry, the hammer bot, um, his link ability is able to add intensity to somebody's skill. So he increases the effectiveness of somebody else's ability. And then finally, we've got the sniper bot that can add range to somebody's skill. Um, so just to quickly demonstrate this in action, if I wanted to pull somebody in, um, so I've got my sniper bot here, and I'm going to go ahead, actually I guess if, if I want to um, blow somebody backwards or something um, with the repair bot, I can move my repair bot in a bit more, um, link onto my character here, and actually I'm not sure if I can hit at range, no I can't actually hit at this point, so I'll go ahead and end the turn, and you'll see because I ended the turn the abilities went away, so that's interesting. We've actually got it set up so that the unit's abilities will go away at the end of a turn if you've buffed them in some way. Um, and so, again, I'll select my repair bot, I'll link to the sniper, and then um, ordinarily, if I just use the effect on a target, um, I can use it, and he gets blown back one. If we go until the next turn, and he gets back in range again, so he uses his effect now, if I take the hammer bot and use him to buff the sniper bot, and again, I've selected my repair bot and I use him to link. Now, if I shift into my attack, because he's been buffed to deal three damage, um, thanks to the hammer bot's intensity increase of two, um, now when I use it, he actually gets knocked back three spaces. Um, so he dealt three damage and knocked him back three. So that's just an example of the skills stacking on top of each other to um, provide different effectiveness.